I'm WSA 9 meteorologist Topper Shuttle. This is just a same old story. Rinse and repeat. We're tracking another storm that will uh, move across uh, the Yucatan on Monday night and then move in the upper waters on Tuesday as a category one. And yes, it's going to take aim once again on the coast of Louisiana, maybe making landfalls early as eight, nine o'clock Wednesday night. Hurricane watches, tropical storm watches have been posted essentially for most of Louisiana, but they're focusing on the southeast part with the track going somewhere near Grand Isle. So um, again, that'd be landfalls a category one, which is not crazy in terms of winds, but we're still looking at the potential for a pretty big storm surge and five to 10 inches of rain. Then it begins to move off to the north and the east. This is 630 in the morning on Thursday. Now we have to take an interest in this because much like the other storm that brought us some remnants, this too will bring us some remnants, primarily uh, Thursday into Thursday night early on Friday. This is Friday morning at 1.30 in the morning. It's already across the bay. So the heaviest rain for us will be Thursday. After that, it moves well out to the ocean by 10 o'clock on Saturday. It is pretty much history. So let's look at a couple of models and a couple areas of rainfall. So this is 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Snapshot in time, already three and a half inches in Knoxville. Very little for us, a tenth of an inch or so. All right, this is the American model. So advance this. Now we take you into noon on Friday because most of it's going to be gone by noon Friday. We've got a tremendous amount of rain to the south and the west of us, but only about an inch and a third for us and maybe maybe two inches in Richmond. That's not crazy. That's the American model. All right, so we put that into the context of the European model. Now we're at 10 o'clock on Thursday. We have a little bit more, about four tenths of an inch in the bucket. But really the difference here is what happens as we get into Thursday night overnight into early Friday because now we have almost two inches in DC and heavier amounts are north and west of us, not south and east. So we got three inches, three inches in Oakland and pretty good rainfall, one to three inches out toward the Shenandoah Valley. And if this were to come to pass, then this would cause some flooding in the Potomac several days later after all the water uh, drained down. So if we uh, look at the uh, European model in a little closer area, so this is now through four o'clock on Friday. We have, you know, anywhere from 1.3 inches in the immediate metro area. This is actually a GFS and about 1.2 inches in a call pepper. So again, the GFS model is much more aggressive. The timing is pretty much the same. Everybody's pretty much in agreement. The rain develops on Thursday, becomes heavier Thursday afternoon and Thursday night, and the heavy activity ends by noon on Friday. And if we're lucky, we begin to clear out Friday afternoon and evening.